And I think that's one of the things that Malcolm X, why we're so inspired by Malcolm X, because when you look at his example, it shows you that who we are can always be reinvented, no matter where you come from. I think that's the, big, the, the greatest part of Malcolm X's legacy. If you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. Important. Intelligent. <laughs> Legacy. Successful. Controversial. Uh, misunderstood. Leader. <laughs> Brave. Committed. Wonderful. Honest. Honest. That's good. Lansing, Michigan, where Malcolm Little spent his early formative years, is home to a Michigan historical marker erected in 1975, marking his home site. The city is also home to El Haj Malik El Shabazz Academy, a public charter school with an Afrocentric focus. The academy is located in the building where Malcolm Little attended elementary school. Malcolm Little, to me, I never. I never learned about the Malcolm X till I think quite some time after he was well known in the public eye. The Malcolm X thing was <clears throat> was, uh, was certainly nothing I that he and I knew about when we were 12 and 13 years old. Who was Malcolm X? Um, Malcolm X was many things. Uh, Malcolm X was a uh, a role model uh, for the uh, civil rights and black power movement. Um, he was an activist. Um, he was a Muslim minister and um, an advocate for black um, empowerment. Malcolm X is a very important African-American leader who uh, took a particular approach to um, African-American identity that was really important. Um. Malcolm X is uh, someone who was during the civil rights era who he believed um, he believed like fighting was the answer by any means necessary. Well, anytime you hear the one you hear one saying um, by any means necessary, they're quoting uh, Malcolm X. Uh, recently, I heard uh, uh, President Bush in some old uh, outtakes uh, use that expression. It seemed like he always had a sunny face. He just kind of glowed. He was, he was happy. Uh, he made an impression on all of us. Revolutionary leader in the civil rights movement. He was an influential uh, leader in the black community. Was it Black Panthers? Yeah. I had been a very uh, feeble child. I, I hadn't gotten much of any growth, and I had had several surgeries. And uh, about the time that Malcolm came to town, I was beginning to get my strength and beginning to get my growth. And uh, during the time that I was a kind of a sickly child, uh, I got chased home from school a lot by bullies. And I, of course, shared all this with Malcolm. And, uh, and Malcolm, Malcolm said, well, now you're getting strong. And he said, we're going to we're going to get these guys that chased you home and bullied you. He said, "I'm going to help you." And he said, "One at a time. We're going to get these kids <laughs> and show them what's for." So, one thing that is so vivid in my mind is when I was fighting a chap, having a fight with a chap down at the athletic field, the high school athletic field. And 
the chap I was fighting for, fighting with, had me pinned on the ground. And Malcolm was leaning over me like this and trying to show me a hold that I could throw on this boy that could tip him off from me, you know? And I could still see him trying to turn around like this so that from where I lay it would make sense to me what I had to do. And uh, it was hard, but uh, I did what he told me to do and, and tip big deal off from me. Big guy, too. But, uh, so this is what happened. Malcolm went with me each time, and we uh, took each one of these bullies and showed them what for. And that's how I got the name that stuck with me all my life, which is Tuffy Dark. If somebody in town calls, hey, Tuffy, the way down the street, I know before I've even looked that it's somebody that's pretty old, you know, <laughs> because because I am. So, these are the things I remember about Malcolm, how he, he, uh, he, uh, he was determined to take up my cause and teach me to, uh, to uh, show these guys that I was able to take care of myself finally. Malcolm X was born Malcolm Little on May 19, 1925 in Omaha, Nebraska. His mother, Louise Norton Little, was a homemaker occupied with the family's eight children. His father, Earl Little, was an outspoken Baptist minister and an avid supporter of the black nationalist leader, Marcus Garvey. You know, grew up knowing a little bit about him, but I was assigned um, the autobiography of Malcolm X when I was a student in college, and, and um, so that's where I really got to understand him a little bit better. I was in college um, my the junior year. Uh, I started reading uh, about Malcolm X, and my senior year in college, uh, 1965, uh, just prior to his assassination, a group of us were going to go down to Tuskegee, well they call it Tuskegee Institute at the time, to see him. But uh, his untimely death, of course, uh, led to us not making that trip. Um, I found out about Malcolm X when I was about 15 years old. And my mother, before she became a drug addict, while she was in college, she was a member of this thing called the Black Panther Party for Self-Defense. So even though she herself um, sort of went off on a deep end, she was always politically active before the addiction. And she had these books in her house. There's nothing else in this. There was no furniture. There was no food. There was just this box of books. And I opened it up and I saw this black man pointing with glasses on. Um, and I was intrigued by it. Like, who's this guy? So I, um, so I started reading it. And I read it in one sitting. I didn't move. I just sat there for 24 hours just reading this book. And by the end of it, my life was actually transformed. We would walk to school together, but then, and, and, and uh, walk home together, but then boys and girls alike that lived in our neighborhood wanted to walk with Malcolm. He was just so admired and so... Uh, so his friendship was, was sought after. And to me, he's, he's never been controversial. Well, he was controversial for a number of reasons. Not everybody understood what he stood for. And at times, um, he advocated certain methods of change that not everybody agreed with or, or totally understood. Uh, to some, he was controversial, largely because of his firm beliefs he had about uh, self-protection, self-reliance. He was determined to uh, become a 
force in the world. And uh, he was discouraged, which was wrong, you know. Um, I don't think that Malcolm X is controversial. Um, I don't. I think that when people call things controversial, people who use that word to describe people like Malcolm and his legacy, that these are, when they use that word, they're just simply resistant to change. the value of their, their, their culture that's been stripped away from black people. So we have to remember Malcolm, because Malcolm basically allows us to reconnect with our past and um, gives us pride in ourselves. So we have to m remember Malcolm for the, on that level. He's important in my work in um, a number of different ways. What, what I study is actually writing, and, and more broadly I study communication and rhetoric. So how do you speak effectively to groups of people? And Malcolm X was a master rhetorician. Um, he really—he was a great communicator. He was somebody who could motivate people. 